Okay, <clears throat> sorry, there was a problem in recording previously, and uh, so anyhow, so sorry. So this is the state. Uh, what I was mentioning, I was uh, just mentioning. Just give me a time so that I can. I was here at. So this is my state here. So when at state zero, when I will take another zero, this one zero, where I will reach, where I will reach at this state, this zero zero. So I have to write this zero zero here. And when I will take one at zero, where I will reach this state zero one. So you have to write this state. When I will take one, I have to mention that the FA will reach at state zero one. And in this way, you can fill up this whole transition table. So this is the concept of transition table. Okay, so this is an FA for this regular expression and having this transition table. So now move on to the next page. And this is the reduced or simplified form of this finite automaton. You can verify this reduced form uh, by yourself you can see okay this regular expression is ending with at the substring one zero okay so this is initial state so this is one and this is zero so this is final state and if i will have any number of zeros before that you can take that and after that one if i have any number of ones you can just make a loop and then you will after taking zero you can reach it here because this one zero which is a substring at the end is now approved and we have reached at the final state and after that if i will get another one then you can just link it with this one this state and zero with this one so this is a reduced form you can verify all your strings that i mentioned here when i was when we were studying this fa uh, you can verify all those strings with this finite automata. So this FA and this FA are functioning in a similar way. These are the same FA for the for this regular expression. Okay. Okay, move on. Now the next uh, is another definition and uh, we have seen this, all these arrows are called transitions. So at this state, even when, when uh, this FA will take an input one, then it will reach another state that is B. So this is called delta, this is transition. And if I want to write it here in delta form, then okay, just, just give me, a minute and then I can show you how you can write. So delta and then if I have this state A and then if I have this symbol one, then it is equal to what? It is equal to state B. I will reach at B. So this is the concept that we have seen uh, up to this point. This was the this was the point I was I was mentioning here. This is the delta, and these are the lines which were explaining this concept. So anyhow, So now we have seen the delta, which is a transition function. And now we have another, a little advanced definition of transition function. And this is called extended transition function, delta star. Here star means we have to perform transition multiple times. So it is a recursive definition basically. I can, in literature, you will see this 
as a recursive transition function delta star. So let's first get some concept about this uh, delta star. So generally, single delta is a one single transition. Delta star is multiple transitions, more than one time, simply. Now we will uh, get some understanding from this theoretical stuff. So, so suppose this M is a FA with the same tuple that we have studied previously. Then we can define the recursive definition, uh, recursive uh, uh, transition function delta star like this, delta star colon, kept big Q Cartesian product with sigma star. Sigma star means all possible combinations of input symbols. So we have a set of states and we have input symbols. So previously we have seen that we can take a state from the bigger set, big set, and then we can take an input symbol. And then after taking that input symbol, we will reach at another state. Halas, this is one concept. But here it is, but here it is, it is, uh, it is sigma star. I am taking a little bit of time because I have to uh, apply the command for the annotation and then I have to annotate these things on the slides. Anyhow, so here I have sigma star. So sigma star means more than one input symbol, which means now you are taking strings from the alphabet set, not the uh, single alphabet. So now I have set of states. I can take a state from this big Q and then I have to take, then I have to take strings. That's why it is mentioned here as sigma stars. Strings of what? Strings of input symbols, which are available in sigma, which is an alphabet set. So delta star, and then set of states, Cartesian product with sigma star, which means strings from the alphabet set. And then where you will reach? We will reach on some new states. And those states are again the subset of big Q. So that's why it is mentioned here as equal to this Q. Because we will reach again at some new state that would be the subset of this Q. So this is the mathematical story for the extended transition function uh, delta star. And if this is a mathematical equation of delta star, then we have to suppose, or then we have to check some things uh, as it is, as mentioned in one and two. Number one, for any uh, state, for any state from the big Q, which is a set of states. And if you apply delta star extended, extended transition functions over that state with string null, if we have a state, any state Q, and if we have a string null, where you will reach, you will, you will stay at the same uh, state. So delta star Q comma null, you will reside on the same state Q. Another one. For any, by the way, we can move forward to another state. It's up to the design of the FA actually. But this statement here mentioned in one is saying the thing which I said to you. Number two, for any, for any, so for any Q belongs to big Q, for any state which is a, which belongs to the set of, bigger set of states Q, and if Y belongs to sigma star, what it means? It means st any string, any string. Y is now your string. Y is what? Y is my string because it is from sigma star. And then 
if a belongs to sigma now this a is a, a single alphabet single alphabet which is uh, which is the part of that sigma so if we have any state q and if we have a string y and if we have alphabet a then delta star transition function extended transition function delta star if we have a state this q and if we have this string y and if we have this a here if this is the extended transition function then how can we elaborate it how can we describe it in mathematical form or how can we process it we have to process first we have to write delta and then we have to write uh, this parenthesis like this one delta star into q comma y and then you have to process the right hand right hand expression here then you have to write process this expression from the right direction towards left so i have to process this a first and then i can process this y what i want to say so that's why delta star q comma y is something unprocessed yet and now this we we made this a as a separate entity so this is the state i don't know where i will reach but this is some transition this is some state i will after applying this extended transition function i will definitely reach at some state and then comma a so this is the same thing like this one not exactly but for example i want to say that um, uh, we have seen previously this delta and if we have a q if we have a q comma a so so this representation is for example giving uh, me some state here like this one and this is some symbol here like this one for delta and this is delta out at the uh, at the outer position so we are opening it basically hum ise khol rahe hain aisa aisa isko khol rahe hain aur is tarah khol khol ke hum isko solve karenge aage koi example aayegi but leave it for the moment uh, i just shift the mode for a better understanding and now i am again uh, converting my mode for a bigger audience okay <coughs> just move on so this is the explanation of the extended transition function this is the mathematical equation and if we have to check something we have to check these two conditions always if we have a string then we can process the strings like this one and we have to process these strings until we reach at this condition we will see these things so now this is an example to understand this uh, extended transition function suppose this is our initial state q and the here, arrow here is not always necessary if it is not mentioned then we know that this is the initial condition so q of for at q when we will we will take a we will reach at q1 and b q2 and then taking c and we are reaching q3 so now extended transition function for this example is delta star into so we are mentioning this state we are uh, we are mentioning this state here and then a b c so this a this b and this c so this is one string we are writing as a one string here and this string is from where this is sigma star that's why it is mentioned that this is from where this is from sigma star taking input l uh, alphabets input alphabets from sigma multiple times and then we have a string so this is our now strings now how can we process it 
So first delta, and then you can take this C first. Take this out like this one. And then we have delta star Q comma AB as a remaining extended transition function. And after that, take this B out as we are writing it here. And we have another delta, delta, another delta into a delta, delta into delta and then delta star. And what we are left with this one, delta star Q comma A. And now we have to process this again, that we have to process this delta star again. So previously, just a moment, we have seen here something, delta star Q comma null. So we have to reach here. So just a moment. So delta star Q comma A, now we have to take this A out. Just a moment, annotation is finished. So now we have to take this A out. So now A is out here. And what we are left with, this is something the base case, as you have seen in point one and two above. So delta star Q comma null is the base case. You can say null is not represented here, but we are doing this thing according to this definition, according to this definition. Uh, just a moment, I have to move this according to this definition. So delta star Q comma null, and this A is out now, and now we can uh, move on to the next page. Okay, and Q comma null, what I will get? Delta star Q comma null, this is the base case, and what I will get? I will get this Q. I will get this Q, delta star Q comma null, what I will get? Q. So here we have a Q, the same name, so that's why you have to write so that's why you have to write, you have to write Q, Q in place of this one. And when you will write, then you have a, a here, delta into like this one, the, the remaining um, expression. And now this delta without star is a single transition function. Now you have to look over the diagram and then you have to uh, see what this single transition uh, is giving you the direction. So this delta QA at state Q after taking input symbol A where I will reach at state Q after taking A where I will reach Q1. So that's why you have to mention Q1 in place of this one. That's why it is mentioned. Inner delta is now finished. Inner delta is Inner delta is inner delta is now finished, and now this outer delta, and in place of this delta Q comma A, I will reach at Q1, and then this B and C. And now this delta Q1 and B. So in the diagram, you have to see at Q1 and taking B where I will reach Q2. So you have to replace this one. So now, so delta Q1 B, according to the diagram, where I will reach Q2 and then C. And delta Q2 C from the diagram, I will reach at Q3. So this is the process. Uh, this is the example for to understand the extended transition function. <clears throat> Now, another example. So this was the example 
with Y as a string and some alphabet. For example, here you have seen that this is an example of a string A, B, C, one string Y. And you have to process like this. But if you have uh, X and Y string in your expression, both are strings, like this one, delta star Q comma X, Y, here X and Y both are strings, not alphabets. Then, so it is not difficult, you can simply, you have to consider, you have to process this Y first, and then after that you can process this X. So it is very much similar, but it's just giving us a new dimension that problems can be given to you in this format. So anyhow, another one. There is another definition, acceptance by an FA. How we can say that some FA is accepting something. How can we elaborate the acceptance property of a uh, of an FA? So it is very much simple. This is not something difficult. Let's move on. So if M is some FA, according to the definition that we have seen earlier in earlier notes, if M is an FA, and if we have a string X, which belongs to Sigma star, now you will understand what Sigma star means. Sigma star, you are getting some string. So a string X belongs to Sigma star, some string X, which belongs to Sigma star, is accepted by this M A, is accepted by this M, if, if we apply the extended transition function, delta star from initial state Q0, and this is the string, and if we apply this extended transition function, and if we will reach at a state, which is a subset of the accepting set, final, for example, I can say if I will reach at some state, which is a final state. But I said earlier that uh, we can have more than one final states or acceptance states in, a, in an FA. So if this is a true, then this capital A here on the nodes is a set of accepting states. And this left hand right side is saying that after applying the extended transition function, if I will reach at some state, which is a subset of that capital set A, that set capital A, and if that string, if this string X is accepted by M, and if that string is processed and we have reached at A, then this is something we can say the acceptance of an FA. But if a string is not accepted, if we are not reached at the final state or accepted states, we say it is rejected by them. So if we have an FA and if we have a string, if, if you process the string, if you process a string over an FA and if you will reach at the final state, then you can say the string is accepted. And if your string is not reaching at the final state, rather it is uh, remaining in between the FA, then it means that the FA is rejecting your string. Okay, the language next. The language accepted by M are the language recognized by M. So now you can say, uh, if you are checking many strings of your language and if the language, uh, if all the strings of the language are accepted by the M, uh, uh, we can also say that the language are recognized by them. These are the two same words, these are synonyms. Then we can write this thing in mathematical form like this one. <clears throat> language of, uh, FA, M, <clears throat> is equal to 
and we have a is equal to a set in which x x is a string belongs to sigma star okay that's fine this is from my this definition we have a string x such that x is accepted by m what this is saying that we have a language of for some finite automata and if any string from sigma star which means all possible combinations of input symbols so if any string uh, any string from sigma star and if that string is accepted by m then we can say that this is the language of that machine so language of machine is equal to this is the mathematical notation for that uh, language and it is saying something that all strings of the language are accepted by that fam so this is just representing the acceptance of an fa mathematically if l is any language over sigma and l is accepted are recognized re accepted are recognized keep this thing in your mind by m if and only if l is a l is equal to l of m so from my previous definition we can say that um, if l is a language uh, and we can say that this l this l is equal to the language of fa only if this l is accepted or recognized by this m and if it is accepted then me it means that all the strings of this language l from this sigma will uh, will be accepted or recognized by this m and if it is true then it means that this l is the language of that fa so that's why we can say l is equal to l of m and this is some just a uh, thing to remember uh, and just just a note that power of a machine does not lie in the number of strings it accepts but in accepting some and rejecting others so if there is a machine and that if there is an fa and that is accepting many strings many maybe 100 strings of some language then this is something not representing the power of that machine if we have another machine and that machine is accepting some string and also rejecting some strings then this is basically the true definition of the power of a machine so what this note is saying to you this note is saying to you you don't have to think only on the acceptance of an fa you also have to think on the rejection portion of the machine which means you have to show the acceptance paths in an fa for the acceptance of the strings and you also have to show or draw the paths for the rejection of the string so that is basically the power but this is something uh, really difficult task anyhow uh, we have uh, now a simple definition i don't want to uh, prove this theorem because it is very much simple this is uh, just a definition so theorem so now we have a theorem that a language l over the alphabet sigma is regular is a regular language if and only if there is an fa with input sim alphabet sigma the same that accepts l so theorem is saying that we if there is a language l over an alphabet uh, set sigma we can call that language l irregular on if and only if there is an fa in parallel that accepts all the language strings of l from that alphabet sets so we have seen this thing already in previous lecture that a language l is 
irregular if there is an existence of an FA for that language. So this is the same definition, nothing else. So now the example. Regular expression of FA. So this is an example that some FA will be given to you and you have to uh, write a regular expression for that FA. For example, this FA is given to you and then you have to uh, write the regular expression. So you have to think, okay, initial state and it is the final state and there is another final state here. Oh, this is a tough one because this is the initial state and it is a final state, which means, which means the regular expression cumulatively can be null. Okay, so this is the initial state and by taking null, you can have add this same state and this state is also an accepting state. So you have to keep this, this in your mind that your whole regular expression uh, can conclude only a null string. Can, this is one aspect. And then from this initial state taking zero and then zero, zero and then zero. So zero, one, zero and then zero. And I am reaching again at acceptance state. So zero, zero is a string which zero, zero, one time, two time, three time and so on. So that's why it is zero, zero and then you can write a star when there is a loop in an FA, you have to represent it with star. This is one point. Okay, another state. Okay, one. This is initial state. One. Then. One. <clears throat> one. One. Then one. Then one, and so on. So. Single one, double one, and then you will reach at this state. And then this is a loop, which is saying to do yes, that this is the first one, second one, third one, fourth one, fifth one, sixth one, so even number of ones. So that's why one, one whole starts so due to this loop. And this is not an acceptance state. This is, you can say something, rejection state. Okay, for example, if you are, if you have, if you have a triple zero, then where this triple zero will reach? If you have a, can I say that triple zero double one is a valid string? Can I say, just a moment, at triple one, now look at the screens. Triple one, sorry. Okay, this is also okay. Triple zero, triple zero, triple one. Is this a valid string for this regular expression? No, it is not. Because even number of zeros and even number of ones. If you produce, then you will get even number of zeros. And even number of ones. This part can be null, this part can also be null. So in a string, either you have even number of ones, either you have even number of zeros. So this is not a valid string because you don't have even number of zeros or even ones. So then this string will not be accepted by this FA. So okay, one zero, two zero, three zero. Okay, one, one, and then again, one, one, one. So I will remain here on this state and I will not reach here because all these edges are coming toward this state in this direction. I don't have a path from this state to these states due to which I cannot continue from this state to these states are I, if I will reach here at this state, then I don't have a path to go back. So which also giving us a meaning that this is a, some kind of rejection state. So zero, zero, and then odd. And if you are, 
if after triple zero you have a one, you can just make a transition towards this trans, uh, state D, which is a rejection state. And at D, at D, if you if you will have a zero or one, you can just make a loop here. Okay, and if first one, second one, third one, and after that, if you have a zero, you will reach here because this is an invalid string and same is the case here. So you can build a regular expression after looking over the FA and the pattern. You can find the pattern in the FA and then you can write these things. By finding those patterns, you can write those patterns in the form of regular expression. So this is the regular expression that you, we have obtained here. Now, <clears throat> now there is an example that you have to uh, look into the textbook of John C. Martin um, by yourself. And this example is of a finite automaton M and that FA is accepting all possible combination of A comma B star, which means all possible combinations of A's and B's. Now the alphabets are changed. Rather than zero one, we have A and B here. And at the end, we have some substring B triple A. So now the end, now the substring at the end of all strings uh, would be B triple A. It's very much similar to, 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 maybe we have seen something here. It's very much similar to this one, zero comma one whole star one zero. So you can see this uh, in the book. And now we have a language L of all strings in A comma B star that contain at least one of two substrings, A, B and B, B, A. So now we have language is given to us, or a regular expression is given to us, and then we have to draw an FA. And that language is saying that we, you have the strings with all possible combinations of uh, A and B, you have the strings, but the, there is one condition that all the strings will contain at least one from these two substrings. These are the two substrings AB and BBA. Look at the screen, AB and BBA. And from this thing, so these two strings, any one from these two substrings would be the part of the strings of, of that language. So how you can write the regular expression? So AB plus BBA plus, plus means union, either this one, either, either that one. And then, and then you can put uh, A plus B whole star, which means A, R, B and whole star, all possible combinations in the beginning. And uh, A plus B whole star, which means all possible combination of A and B at the end. Now this can be null. So A or B can be in the beginning. And also this is the null, so which means that this A and B can be at the end of the string because this can be null. And if we have something from here and something from here, then A or B can be in between the string. So this is a perfect regular expression for this definition of a language. And now you, we have to draw uh, the FA. If you have the regular expressions like this, so all possible combinations, all possible combination, and if you have some fixed things, if you have some fixed things like this in your regular expression, 
then always try to draw these fixed things in your FA. For example, A, B, and B, B, A, this would be the part, the, any one, any one, any one, A, B, or B, B, A. Any one can be the part of, any one must be the part of your string. So it means that your FA will contain these two parts, one for A, B, and other one for B, B, A. And then other combinations of A's and B's in the beginning or at the end. So, so let's have a look over this one. So this is the FA for the, that string. So A, B, so this is a starting state. Taking A, okay. And then reaching here, then taking B, I am reaching at the final state. This is one path. This is what? This is this is one one path for string A B and the other wa was B B A. So now now this is another path at initial state. Take B and then B and then A. This was another part, and I am reaching at the acceptance states. So this was the uh, A B plus B B A part of the regular expression, and. Now, what is the other thing? So now alphabet, how many alphabets? A and B, two inputs. So here, two outer degree is complete. Now, one outer degree. So you have to think, if B is going in this direction, then probably A would be here. So, how you can think. My strings can be A, R, A, B, or you can say B. This is something fixed. This is from my A plus B star. This is from my A plus B star. So, okay, so A, I am going here, and then again A. So, if again A will come, so then I have to make the loop because B, I already have designed. So, that's double A is just covering that portion. So, again A, and then B, and if again B will come, so I am at accepting state, I don't have to move here and there. So, you just draw the this loop here and this B is already representing. So it was just one loop, no outer degree. So de outer degree is two. You can just represent, uh, you can just draw one path and you can just label it with two input alphabets, which is equal to two paths. So this string is now accepting in this way. And you can think also in this direction, in a similar way. Okay. Now, again, this FA, R is equal to double one, Maybe you have to look over it by yourself. This is the regular expression given to you, which means that either 1, 1 or 1, 1, 0. Any combination of 1, 1 or 1, 1, 0. This is the first part. And then the string will end with, this, with the uh, symbol 0. All strings will end with a zero. This is something compulsory part. And now, so I am just drawing it. This is the legal string. This is something illegal. This is something illegal. This is legal. This is illegal. And then to, you have to think zero and belongs to L. So this is this whole part can be null. So zero is a valid string that will reach on the acceptance states okay this one starting state taking zero and you are 
reaching at the acceptance rate. One, one is not a legal string for this one because either the double one or this one one zero can be produced. So after taking one, I'm reaching here, but this is not a acceptance state. And then one zero not belongs to L, one zero, okay, now one zero, okay, one. And if I will take, I will get zero, then it is surely that one zero, one, and then ending with zero, this is not a legal string. So I am moving this uh, towards this rejection state, which is a state actually. So zero is going towards this direction. And if one, one, zero belongs to L, okay, one, uh, one, and then zero. So this is again an acceptance state. And I can say, okay, so one, one, and one, one, so one, one, and then one, one, zero, and then zero, if this is a string. One, one, and then one, one, zero, and then again zero. So this is again this part. So you can think by yourself and then you can see this is an FA for this regular expression. I am taking a pause at this moment and then I will make, uh, I will start my lecture here distinguishing one string from another.